Alright guys, how's it going? Uh, back from my move, I did try to make and upload a few uh, Shadow of Mordor videos uh, while I was away. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, I cannot currently upload them. So I have decided that I'm going to actually give Skyrim a shot for right now. Uh, and as you can see in my little low screen, I do have a couple of saves set up, uh, level 34, level 1, no, level 1, this is just the prisoner loadout, and level 26, and without fail I start recording and of course my phone goes off. So that's a little bit annoying, but I guess it can't be helped. Alright, but I'm going to start a new game right now. Uh, for those of you that would like to see the opening cinematic. So here you go for that. Alright, so we wake up, we are in the back of a cart with uh, some people with uh, their hands bound. And, whoa, why did that come up? I have no clue why that came up. But if you look over here, we also have someone with, uh, looks to be a little mouth cloth. Keeping them from being able to talk. I wonder why that is. I don't know why I'm treating you guys like you've never seen Skyrim before. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you storm folks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. We had been looking for you. You stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammer. You there, you and me. We shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they captured you, oh gods, where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going, but Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereb, Akatosh, the Vines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Alright, so I don't know if you guys were getting some feedback there. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so sick. So anyway, as I was saying, I'm not sure if you guys were getting a little feedback right there. Um, Inside the house. But I did adjust the gain on my mic, so if you were, that should be gone. Move it. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Alright, 
And then now that we're here, once I jump out of the uh, cart, I'm going to load up my other build, which I can't do right now. Can I do it now? Yes. So I'm going to go over here, go to my save file 1, famine, orc, level 1. No clue why that took me 18 minutes to make an orc, but okay. You from one of the strongholds, Orc. How did you end up here? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to Orsenia. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Remember that guy. We're about to abuse him. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Elgin call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Our... As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning. You know, if you'd only waited a minute. Smiling at me, Imperials. You say the same. You know, for how many of us are here? That's a very small head box. Death to the storm folks. As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the orc. I have a name. Just because you can't say it because you have no idea what it is, doesn't mean I don't have it. I said, next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Fine. And hey, look, a dragon. Unfortunately, our arms are still bound, so there's not really much that we can do. But just go right over here. <coughs> Sorry about the sneeze. Come on, come on. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. All right, now what's in here? We need to move. The tower. Let's go. I mean, it wouldn't help much, but you would think that one of these guys could unbind my hands. All right, now let uh, this guy go first because up here. Yep. I actually got killed by that the first time I came in. So yeah. See the inn on the other side. Jump through the roof and keep going. Go. So, go ahead and uh, run and jump through. Oh. I land on the fire. I would do that. If you want to stay that way, Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. Go. 
gods guide you. Alright, so now uh, Hadvar is our guide. And we're going to stay with Hadvar until uh, we're out of here. Oh, I remember the first time I played this game. That was terrifying. I mean, it's so obvious, but still, the jump scare right there got me. It's you and me, prisoner. Stay close. I'm trying to, but you're too slow. damn traitor! Out of my way! We're escaping, Hedmark. You're not stopping us this time. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign Guard. Poor guard. Poor, poor guard. Anyway, so right now we have a choice. We could either go over here with the uh, Stormcloak dude that we were tied up with, or we could go over here with Hadvar. I just got knocked down. I actually was not aware that that could actually happen. But anyway, I definitely suggest you go over here with Hadvar. Come on! We need to get inside! And once in here, this is where the Skyrim breaking begins. Looks like we're the only one. Was that really a drag? Bring us of the end times? We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to right. and find something for these bones. So. At this point, we have a quest marker telling us to open up this wooden chest. If you want to continue on with the game and not really exploit anything, go ahead and open that chest and go on. But this is me we're talking about. So I'm going to take that sword. I'm going to take this sword. I'm not really going to take any of that. Let's see, I believe there's gold over here. That's empty. I believe all these are actually empty. Oh, no. Got some stuff right there. Got to be a sword or two. Alright, so. At this point, go ahead and go to your items. Go into your equipment. And go ahead and equip the two iron swords that you picked up. Now, left stick to crouch behind him, Hadvar. And then hit him. And as you can see, my sneak just increased to 16. Get some gear. Then hit him again and increase the 18. Got to be a sword or two in one of these chests. Look around. And uh, in between each hit, uh, just wait for I believe it's six seconds. Five seconds will maybe work, but be on the safe side, I would uh, go with six seconds. Sword or two in one. And with this, as you can see you will be increasing your sneak attack relatively quickly and uh... it's going to be a little bit slower for the one-handed but you are also going to be upgrading your one-handed and uh... at this point in time you can also level up uh, your destruction spell as well um, i do suggest waiting until you have a few more levels and you can put a little bit of magicka in for like just so it doesn't go down as quickly and these are going to be throwaway levels but yeah so as you can see just that one blast took us up about a quarter of the way on our level 15 destruction um, our sneak is a little over halfway for level 22 and our one handed is right there so now I'm going to load my, I believe it's save file 2. Yeah. Got to be a sword or two in one of these chests. Look around. Alright, so if you do decide to uh, go ahead and go through all of that, 
Um, I recommend getting your one-handed and your sneak up to level 100. And it's it's definitely going to take some time. I believe this save file is now at 12 hours or something like that. But a lot of that is because I did also bring my destruction up to level 42. Uh, later, there is going to be a quicker way to do it. But once you get your stuff up to wherever you would like, go ahead and uh, open up this chest. Just take all, go to your items. I'm going to re equip that sword. Then, equip all that stuff. Give that sword a few swings, too. Let's keep going. All right. Still out there. Now, Hadvar is going to open up the gate for us. And you're going to see me going through this game a lot in sneak mode. Alright, well, anyway, once he opens that up, just go ahead and move forward. Use that pull chain. Then you're going to have some enemies up here. Go ahead and take care of them. And because our one handed is level 100, that is going to uh, be a little quicker. Let me see if I can get that door Go ahead and uh, take some of their stuff. I don't know why I can't just take that. Ah, there we go. So you only need, you don't really even need to take their actual armor, but they do have weapons on them. So go ahead and take their weapons, and then go ahead and head through here. And you can tell right there that that uh, wall did collapse it on us, so let's go ahead and go through this door. And we're going to come across a few more uh, storm cloaks. Go ahead and sneak up behind. And there we go. An old store Go ahead and search and take the potions out of that. And go ahead and search this room at, at your leisure. When you're done, just go ahead and head over here back to Hadmar. Then let's go ahead and head down here to where we've got a battle raging on. So let's go ahead and help out the Imperials in here. I must have scaled them off. And now that we are done with that, I don't think we need that book. I might take the dagger. And in here, where is it? I could have sworn that there was a uh, lockpick in here somewhere, but apparently not. But we do have a mace and a shield. Might as well take those. And I would suggest doing this on every one of these locks if you can. But uh, the most important one. If you're not all that good at lock picking, it's going to be this one right here. Open up this door. Looks like there's something in this. Go ahead and uh, get take all my gold, get the book. You just go ahead and take everything from him. And the book that we got is going to be a spell, the spell Tome of Sparks. We now know the Spark spell. Like I said, just go ahead and uh, l uh, pick all of these locks. Uh, just go ahead and get a jump start on your lock picking skill. You can loot these bodies if you want to. The next, we're going to go through here. Where in oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Got some enemies to deal with. <laughs> So we're 
We're gonna go ahead and take care of these guys. I believe there's one more in here somewhere. Yep. He's actually standing in oil, so if you can get there fast enough, you can actually uh, ignite him on fire. And once you take care of those guys, go ahead and head up here. Use the lever, which will cause the gate to go down. Once you make it through there, or I should say once Hadvar makes it through there, this is actually going to collapse back here. I don't know where Hadvar went. Is there another guy back there that I just didn't see? No, he's just standing here. Come on. We need Hadvar, Hadvar with us, so I don't know what would happen if uh, we went on without him. Yeah. So now that he's through, the tunnel collapses. Uh, if you go up there, you'll find a skeleton with some gold and, I believe, a health potion. But once you do that, go ahead and head down here. Pick up that coin purse. And for all your arachnophobics, I am sorry. Because we got some big ass spiders over here. As you can see with the one-handed skill of a hundred, uh, there's really no worries through here. But once you take care of the spiders, go ahead and head through here. Assuming you don't lose Hadvar again like I did. Come on. Just running through this just to uh, at least finish with this. Bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. You might be able to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling. Alright, so we have a bear up there. Might take it by surprise. Now, go ahead. There's a few things you can do right here. You could sneak on by. You could take the bow and arrows that he just gave you. Huh, there's a coin person there. Uh, but yeah, you could take the bow and arrow that he gave you and shoot shoot the bear. Or, we can go to our weapons. We can equip one of our two-handed weapons. Come back over to Hadvar. And just swing away. <laughs> And uh, this is going to be doing the same thing that we did with our one-handed, only this is not going to be for our two-handed. And while doing this, if you can get Hadvar to uh, end up in this little water vault over here, I have found that that makes it so he no longer gets pushed back and you no longer really need to worry about him. As you can see, this is going to be leveling up our two-handed. And at this point, you can also go to your destruction spell. Put sparks in both hands. Uh, I feel like spark does, uh, you know, gives you a little bit more experience than, what's it called, than flame does. But just go ahead, shock him. And just keep doing this over and over and over and over and over again until you reach the uh, desired level. And I am now going to load. Wait for that auto save to finish. I'm now going to load my other game. 
And now if you do this correctly, you could leave this cave um, without even really finishing the first quest with a total level of level 37. Uh, I decided to stop my destruction at 75 uh, and my total level is level 34. Uh, but I got my two-handed up to 100, one-handed 100, and my sneak is 100. Now with the special edition and the, uh, I believe it's Dawn Guard DLC, uh, you do have the opportunity to make your skills legendary. So in theory, you can leave this cave at level 100 if you so desire just by uh, making your sneak one-handed and two-handed legendary skills I definitely don't suggest doing that on uh, destruction just because it does take so darn long to uh, fill up but anyway now I'm going to equip my bow and the arrows I'm also going to use this opportunity to get these coin purses which I didn't realize were there And I'm gonna take care of this bear. Because our sneak is so high, if you get hit with both of or with the the first two arrows, it should only take two arrows to actually take this bear down. Alright, and now to exit the cave. See, this is all one of the ones you can do it on. This looks like the way out. It is not, but on some of these fires, uh, you can actually stand on the fire and jump, and it'll burn you and actually increase your destruction skill. And you could use uh, heal to also increase your restoration skill. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Closest town from Harry's Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Alright, and as you can see, I did just get uh, a couple achievements. Or one achievement. So with that, you can tell that I don't have any mods on. I actually haven't even set up a Bethesda.net account, so I can't even put any mods on here if I so chose. Uh, but that is where I'm going to call the video today. Um, just a quick little recap. I showed you how to get out of this cave at the very beginning of the game uh, without any mods or hacks or anything like that and uh, in that cave with a total level of level 37 or higher and three or four skills at max level of 100 so yeah with that I shall bid you adieu Famine52 signing out see you in the next video